Greetings and welcome to this um, screencast on creating professional portfolios with WordPress. And I'm pretty excited about this. I'm going to try to go through in a whirlwind fashion to show you how you can take the default WordPress site that they create for you and customize it to make a super elegant looking professional portfolio. So let's get started. Um, I'm going to first go through very briefly kind of the components of it and then I'm going to I'm going to actually create one from scratch so you can see everything I type. We're going to start out you got to create a, an appropriate username. I've already got one Philip M Johnson, but you want to create one that's useful appropriate for you because that's going to be the first part of the actual URL. It's going to be philipmjohnson.wordpress.com. So you want to create something that's nice. You want to choose an appropriate theme. I'm going to say go with 2012 until you really know what you're doing because it's a nice theme. It's responsive, which means it will show up on mobile phones correctly and everything. Um, and then you got to do some heavy customization to the default site that they set up for you. Um, Here's the, the, the um, page for creating the blog. You're going to have to fix the title and the tagline. That happens in this particular um, settings general. You're going to change the front page to a static page um, in settings readings. You're going to remove the commenting and the like buttons and all that junk from all your pages because that just uh, creates spam opportunities and so forth. We'll do that in settings discussion um, and settings sharing. And then every time we create a page, we're going to change the template to be full page template with no sidebar. That gives you more real estate to, to write in, and it makes it look a little cleaner. Um, you'll edit your user's profile settings so that when you, you do do a posting, it'll show your full name and last name. Um, very importantly, we're going to create a custom menu, which enables you to have a hierarchical menu. You can see here we'll have a home page link. Um, It'll take you to the top level. We'll have a projects page menu item with sub pages for each of the projects that you've worked on, a postings page that'll take you to your engineering log, a resume link, and a contact page. Um, and uh, here's an example of a project page. I'm not going to put any content in this. I really don't have time to do all that as well. But I'm going to show you the skeletal structure. Um, here's this, the postings page. Here's what the home page looks like when we're all done. Okay. So let's just blast away on this. Um, I'm going to get rid of that. And I'm going to bring this in like this. OK. So um, you'll want to create an account at WordPress.com. And then you'll have a blog um, that will have the name, your username. And that will be the one that you're going to want to actually customize for your own professional portfolio. I've already got mine here. You can take a look at it any time you want. But what I'm going to do is create a new blog for the purpose of this um, experimentation. So we'll call this ICS 613 Portfolio Example. OK. And we'll name it Portfolio example and then we won't upgrade or anything we're going to create a free blog okay and then we're there and you can see we've got this um, uh, we want to visit the dashboard is the first thing we want to do okay so we're going to go to here now we're in the dashboard for our portfolio example and the first thing that we're going to want to do is to fix the title and tagline and to do that we're going to go to settings general and so what I'm going to do is the site title is going to be my name, Philip M. Johnson. And then the tagline should be Professional Portfolio. OK, so we do that and we save changes. OK, and now we're going to have a nicer looking title. You can click just on this thing and you can see, oh goodness, that's not 2012. OK, so, we've, so interestingly, um, let's go back to the dashboard. For some reason, this isn't the theme that I wanted. So we'll go Appearance, Themes. And we got Bueno for some reason, which is not at all what I wanted. So let's do Search for 2012. That is so strange. I've never seen that before. So we'll click on 2012. And we'll say save and activate. OK, now we've got <laughs> 2012 is our default theme. And it looks a little better than Bueno, at least in my opinion. Now, as you go on, I want you all to start off with 2012. Um, and 
Um, and you know, maybe as you go on, you'll think about getting a more colorful professional portfolio. But remember, you want this to be somewhat conservative and you don't want it to be super flashy. You want the user to be thinking about the content, not all the you know bells and whistles and crazy colors. And some people might be turned off by that. So I prefer what's a relatively you know, straightforward, nothing but the, um, you know, nothing but the steak, very little sizzle kind of thing. Okay. So at any time we can always go back to the dashboard here and that's what we're going to do next. Um, the second thing is we want to make that, um, that homepage our, we want to make a homepage and you, we want to make, excuse me, we want to make a page. So we'll go to pages, add new. Okay, and we're going to say welcome. Okay, and this this page is going to be uh, provide. Well, we're going to say this will have a brief biographical description of Philip Johnson. Okay, and what we're going to do here is we're going to specify that this is full page template with no sidebar. That means that the stuff on the right hand side won't show up on this. And then we're going to publish this page. Okay, anytime now. Okay, now that page is published. And the second thing we're going to, and so in order to make that the static page, we go to settings, readings, and we click on a static page, and we're going to select welcome as our static page. And then we're going to go down here and say save changes. And once the changes have been saved, we can click on my link at the top. And now we can see that we've got our, I've, we've got our home page which says welcome and has the brief biographical description. Now, we got all this junk here. We got the share this, we got the like this, we got this leave this reply. We don't want any of that stuff for a professional portfolio. That just leads to spam and so on. So let's get rid of it, okay? So we go back to our dashboard. And what for the welcome page, what we're gonna have to do, since we've already created it, we've gotta manually indicate that we don't want comments on that particular page. So we have to click this, allow unclick this allow comments from that page. And then we click update. Now the welcome page is not going to have that comment area, but we want to fix that for all pages. And in order to do that for all pages, we want to go to settings discussion. I'm looking at my notes here to make sure I go quickly. And then we want to just unclick this junk here. We can also unclick that stuff if we want. And once we've unclicked all that stuff, we scroll to the bottom, say save changes, and now um, future pages and posts that we create won't have that uh, reply this posting comment stuff on it. The other thing we want to get rid of is all those crazy sharing buttons. So we go to um, settings sharing and then we go down here and we say show buttons on nothing. Okay and then save changes. Oh wait there's one other thing this WordPress com likes. So we'll save changes on that. And now what we should see is no, oh, this is still showing up. Okay, so um, what we'll do is we'll move these guys up to here. Okay, and now there are no there, the live preview shows that everything's gone. We go to save changes. And if we now go back to our welcome page, you can see ah, much nicer, right? None of that other kind of garbage at the bottom. Okay, so we've removed the comments, we've removed the sidebars. Um, we want to also make sure that when we make postings that we have the correct information in our profile settings. So I've already fixed this. Um, so you can see, but I want you to go to this page, Users My Profile, and check to make sure that your first name and last name, full name, display name, all that stuff is kind of filled in correctly. I've got it because I've created a bunch of blogs already. I've already updated that. <coughs> but you'll need to go there and do that first. Okay, the next thing we want to do is create a custom menu. And to do that, we're going to go to Appearance, Menus, and then we're going to click here and we're going to say something like My Menu. 
doesn't really matter what it's called, and then we'll say create menu. Okay, so we've got our, um, our menus. My, my menu is created, and uh, now what we want to do is we want to make uh, add to the things to the menu. So we're going to select our welcome page that we've created, and we'll say add to menu. That's now there. And we're also going to do a tricky little thing here. We're going to create a custom link to a fake URL called cnm.com, for example. And the name of this menu item is going to be projects. And what we're going to do is once we've created that, we're now going to delete the URL. And this, has, this is kind of a kludgy thing, but it has the effect of essentially making a menu item that is unclickable. Okay, and I'll show you why that's useful by now going to the pages. I'm going to add a page called Project 1. Okay, so our first project. And we'll say info about Project 1 here. And we'll make sure that that's not got any sidebars, and we'll publish it. Okay, and then we'll say add new project two, and we'll say info about project two goes here, and we'll make sure that it's the full width template, and we'll publish it. Okay. Um, and now what we'll do is we'll go to Appearance Menus and we'll add both of these pages to our uh, custom menu bar. And what we'll actually do is we'll make them sub-menu items. Okay, then we'll do Save Menu here. And now if we go back to our home page, what you can see is not the right thing. So let's go back to the let's go back to the dashboard and go back to appearance menus. And we'll take a look here. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, I forgot to make my menu the primary menu. Okay, now we'll save it. And we'll go back to the um, the home page and we'll see now that the the current page is being displayed and highlighted then we have the projects um, uh, nav bar item which is not selectable but we have projects selectable beneath it and you can see we go to project one we can go to project two everything looks good okay so now let's um, create a link to a resume Okay, and I happen to have a link to my resume right here, so let me copy that link. Okay, and then we'll go back to here, go back to the dashboard, go back to our menu page, and now I'm going to create a custom link to my resume. And then I'm going to add that to the menu. Here it is. I'm going to save menu. And then what you can see if we go to the site is that if I click on this link resume, I go to my resume. Okay, so I'd like you to have one of those as well. Let's go back now. Um, and then we also want a postings page. Okay, so let's before we do that, let's make a new post. Okay, so this is a sample post on software engineering. So we'll say something interesting about software engineering. Okay. Now the important part here with each posting we want to have a category associated with it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to say there's a category called all. I'm going to add it and then I'm going to add a subcategory of all called software engineering or whatever you want okay and the parent category this will be all and I'm going to add that one as well okay and I'm going to say that this particular post is part of all my postings but the actual specific area of software engineering 
and I'm going to publish this this way. Okay, so nice. I've you know got this. I've published a post. Okay, that's super great. Um, and the next thing. Oh, but my. Po um, so the next thing I want to do is go back to my dashboard and go back to my menu. And now what I'm going to do is create a page or a menu item that is going to show all of my postings that have the label all associated with them. Okay? And then I'm going to add that to the menu. Okay, there it is. And what we're going to do is we're going to edit the name of this to say postings. Okay, so that's all we have to do for that. We say save menu. Okay, and now that that's been updated, we can go to the page, the home page, and we can click on postings, and we can see that we've got our sample post here. And in fact, all of the postings that are have the all tag associated or all category associated with them are going to show up here. I think the only remaining thing we have to do is create a page called contact, and this will be my contact info goes here, and we'll say this is the full width and we'll publish it and then we'll go to appearance menus and we'll add it and it's gonna go at the bottom which is exactly where we want it so then we save the menu Okay, and then we go to our home page, and there we have it. We have um, a basic professional portfolio with reasonable top level sections, as well as a hierarchical menu for projects. Um, and uh, I'm hoping that all of you can quickly get to that place with your professional portfolio, and then from there you can make it more elegant, add pictures, add YouTube videos, whatever you want to make it um, your own.